push on the tape release, and they're off. What a dust cloud. Now this is going to be a very dusty event indeed. First lap, Derek Rickman leads, but number two, Bill Nilsson of Sweden gets ready to take him. And he does. Yes, he's made it. Now the sandstorm really thickens up. The conditions are grim. Visibility nearly zero. Camera ready and right into the picture leaps Jeff Smith. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If the bumps don't get you, then the sandstorm must. Under conditions like these, anything can happen. And it does. Jeff Smith takes a tumble. Brewer Dirk waits while officials lend a hand. Lamkin, too, has fallen. But not for long. Winner of this International Grand Prix, Bill Nilsson of Sweden. Runner-up in the second race, Jeff Smith, Britain and BSA. It's all over now. In the paddock, Bill Nilsson shows just what a dust-up it was. Arthur Lamkin washes off the stains of the struggle. Nevertheless, scrambling is really a good, clean sport. Ask Jeff Smith. He knows. Almost 40 years on from that British Grand Prix at Hawkston Park and half the world away in the USA, Jeff Smith is still racing. Just for fun these days, but still out there at an age when many people are content to collect their old age pension. Still racing and still winning. But when Jeff does forsake the motocross tracks for that gentler ride down memory lane, what an incredible career he can look back on. Two World Motocross Championships and nine British titles. Two British Trials Championships in an era when British riders were unquestionably the best in the world and no less than seven gold medals for unpenalized enduro performances in the international six days trial. 